Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Dead Cells. Last time, uh, we died once again ignominiously in uh, the toxic sewers. It happens, man. That place is tough. This time around, we're going to be rocking the, uh, the electric whip and the crowbar. Electric whip is our main crowbar as... Actually, no, not the crowbar. Let's get the cudgel. I think having an actual shield is useful because I don't need two attack weapons. And the whip is pretty good. I do recall the whip being... Pretty solid for damage output while also giving me some substantial range. Starting off immediately finding an item chest. I will never complain about that. We've got Death Orb. Death Orb 2 also. That is quite nice. An upgraded version of Death Orb to immediately start with, I think, is uh, very positive. In fact, we're just going to launch it. There you go. Check out my Death Orb, man. Yeah. That did not work out great for him because he ran into the Death Orb, as you can imagine. Another nice thing about the whip. Seems like if you hit some, if you hit like uh, near some, uh, excuse me, that was a parry. If you hit near somebody, it actually does like contact damage. Yeah, the electricity travels through multiple. That's really good. That's really, really helpful. I expected, hold on, hold on. Oh, I was going to try and parry. Maybe this is not a good time to be trying to practice my parries, huh? Health is looking a little bit deleterious. Hmm. Fire grenade, definitely on my list of things I super want. Uh, you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh my god, is our damage so bad I can't even break the door? I think we can do this. And if we don't, we've just started the run. It's not a big loss. We will see. We're gonna try and be careful, not die. If we do, we'll be able to start off another run quickly. And this saves us some money. It could be what we need to get our confidence up, which let's be totally honest, I extremely need right now because the situation is looking a little bit dire. Health is uh, at about 50%, slightly over 50%, not where you'd want it to be. We'll go right. And we've got how many enemies left here that we need to get? Does it tell, ah, six, okay, it's above my head. We need six more enemies. We are gonna die. Okay, we have survived that moment, but I still don't feel confident. Never mind, we're fine. That dude uh, never saw it coming. Actually, I think he did see it coming, but then he couldn't get out of the way, which makes it almost more like creepy. I don't want a wolf trap. I will recycle this. I'm actually surprisingly unimpressed with wolf trap. Maybe there is an item where it would synergize really well, and I just don't know it yet. I do, however, recall really liking the double crossbow matic. It's uh, not that expensive, and it is level 3. Tonic. Inflicts 12 damage for 3 seconds. Minus 2% damage received. Heal 4.6 of your full max health. And makes you vulnerable. Ugh, I can't even believe I'm considering the tonic. Um, Ice grenade 3. What's my fire grenade level? Fire grenade 1 plus. Super damage versus a frozen target. Well, I mean, we do have the ability to get a grenade that would be froze, froze dam freeze damage, but I don't, I don't think we want any of this stuff right now. Let's, uh, let's take what we've got and be happy with that. Oh, that was nice. To, yes, that was nice to see. Fire grenade doing work. Don't get hit. Let's not forget that we still have our curse on for two more enemies. I don't want to fight you without weapons to make my life easier, so I will not. Gosh, man, he like predicted where I dropped to. Okay, we'll get another run in here. That was that was that was a warm up. That was, that was the warm up to um, give me a get my brain in the right place to where it needs to be. Hopefully. All right, we are back. Boy, howdy. This mode is quite difficult for me. I'm going to go ahead and say also it is slightly more difficult. Man, kind of garbage again, huh? Kind of difficult to focus on uh, trying to talk and also know what's going on. That makes it a little bit harder. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying it doesn't do me any favors. We're going to use the ever-loving heck, excuse my language, out of the uh, freeze blast here to make these enemies way easier because... What is this? We got a ruby. Whoa. Very nice. Because for now, any little, oh, I, I rolled. Any little advantage we can get could mean the difference between life and death. I feel like I rolled there. It just did not, 
Maybe there was a cooldown on it and I didn't realize it didn't allow me to actually roll out of the way as I would have liked to. Also, I want to know why sometimes I get a speed boost. I still don't understand that. Alright, we've got a powerful grenade too. Any bonus effects? Biters crawl from the dead. That is a fantastic bonus effect. I love me some biters. They do work, man. Biters, just eat that person for me. I don't even need to deal with them. Yeah, whoa, they didn't. What? How did you survive my biter onslaught? I mean, there were only three of them, I think, but still. Really didn't expect him to survive that. Oh, that was close. I was like thinking for a second for some reason I had the uh, the shield and I could just parry it. And then I was like, no, actually you don't. I do not like the Spartan Sandals. I have yet to understand them fully. Right now is not the time to try to understand them. I understand the, the memes of it, obviously. Like it's pretty hilarious, but as for actually killing enemies, a little bit more on the unsure side in that case. Okay, and just jump over the, oh, there you go. You get some biter action going on. Let my Jodies do some work for me. Destroy that man. Now that's interesting. It seems like the uh, the crit damage, according to the the readout for this weapon, it says gives increased crit damage for eight seconds if you break a door. But there, I just broke some non-door objects, and it still seemed to be giving me the crit damage bonus. So it's possible break anything with the crowbar and it gives you the bonus. Maybe I met, I read it wrong. Not totally sure. Let's get a red here. Increase our damage. We'll get a green next, probably, because we will be going Necromancy. Like, don't get it twisted. It is 100% going to be going Necromancy. That was embarrassing. That was also embarrassing. That makes things a little easier. Crowbar. And I said after destroying a door, but I destroyed a barrel, and it still seemed to be giving me the bonus. Yeah, see, I still got the bonus. I mean, I got hit, obviously, but oh, we needed that. That was some clutch wall chicken right there. We're back up to full health thanks to that wall chicken. Life is good. We also have an item over here I can grab real quick. Uh, actually, can I get... Oh, I can, yeah. There we go. Destroy that, man. Let's grab our crossbow matic Double crossbow matic Just a basic one. Not too impressive, but, you know, better to have it than not have it. Because it gives us one more thing that we can throw at our enemies while we hide like cowards and attempt to uh, make sure they never find us. I hate you. Get destroyed, sir. Much like Anakin said to Obi-Wan in their battle on Mustafar, I hate you. I see him behind us. Don't worry. Nice try, Inviso man. Not this time, though. All right, we found the Promenade of the Condemned. How much more is there to explore? Oh, boy. Enough to make it worth trying. Probably, we probably want to get all the advantages that we can in the early levels when it's, you know, should be a little easier, question mark. Whereas in the later levels, uh, we might just want to beeline into exits when we find them, depending on how we're doing. Got a mummy rub secret area over here of some sort. Holy crap! That was not what I was planning on. Just get him. Destroy him. Thank you. All right, took a little bit of damage, but nothing nothing to be concerned about at this point, thankfully. There better be something worthwhile down here, man. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. The dilapidated Arboretum. Oh, boy. If you ever felt let down from a, a secret area, that was probably it. Just a secret pathway to a place I will not be going. Like, if I can't even handle the toxic sewers at this point, I don't know if there's even a chance I would do anything in the, uh, dilapidated Arboretum, man. That place is tough. That place is tough on the normal mode. We're gonna go ahead and go to the Promenade of the Condemned. I know I teased the idea of maybe we'd go to the toxic sewers, but, uh, for now, I think we need to do something that's possibly within my skill level. You know what? No. No, we have to be brave. We're going to the toxic sewers. I can't just hide forever. We're going in. I believe. Just don't land in the poison. We will go ahead and heal up to the top because we know we're going to get some more. We will talk to Cellman. Cellman, take me by the hand. We're going to get Mushroom Boy. We can now yeet mushrooms. Oh, we can't yeet them. We just spawn them. Triggering and okay. 
I don't know what the part about like in, like violating your soul means, but it's probably great. What's that new item I just got that said it looked awesome? Oh, it was a whip, right? Somebody, some, somebody's whip. I wish to start unlocking the whip. Where is that whip? I must have, I must have passed over it. Uh, ice charge, repeater crossbow, heavy crossbow, quick blow, gun. Outside torch, flint, telluric shock, light speed, cluster grenade, cleave ore. This also confuses me. Wait, where the heck is it? We un oh, I died and we didn't get the... Oh, no, I lost it because I died. Well, that's lame. Um, uh, what do we start investing in? I don't know, dude. Telluric shock sounds pretty awesome. Uh, so the, maybe more, more ranged weapons I can start with. The blowgun. Let's try the blowgun. That sounds like it could actually be kind of cool. Mushroom Boy 3. Inflicts 72 damage. Spawns a friendly Mushroom Boy, which charges and interrupts enemies, inflicting 72 damage and 144 extra if they hit the wall. Triggered again to inflict 431 damage and violate your soul. That's the part I do not understand. We're going to take that instead of the double crossbow matic one. Recycle that. And uh, hopefully our, our little boy does some work for us. We'll find out what it means next time. What? Right. Uh, necromancy. I think necromancy is key to the harder difficulties at this point for me. Let's try yeeting this guy. Alright. Well, there's nothing for him to run at. Ah! Okay, so he killed himself when I did that. Wow, that's quite the cooldown. I'm not sure what that means to violate your soul, though. It didn't seem to give me any malaise or anything like that, so I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out when we actually send him after an enemy. After his cooldown's done. That's a long cooldown. I didn't realize the cooldown was that long. I probably should have. Good lord. Probably should have tried to pay attention, huh? Okay. I would like a mushroom boy to go after this guy. Go, go, go! Alright, he yeeted. He flew. Oh, he like stays with me. So I, if I don't want him with me anymore, I can just off him. I can off him with the with the LB button. I understand. Don't land in the poison. That's a bad idea. I made that fool. I keep landing in the poison. I must not be staying in it long enough for it to actually affect me, thankfully. Wow, he's interrupting their attacks, too. He seems pretty good. I'm liking him. He kind of sent the enemy over to a place I didn't want them to be, but, you know. Grenade finished the job for us. He's doing work. The little dude's doing work, man. No wonder he's got such a long cooldown. It's because he doesn't despawn right away. Get out of there. Good work, Mushroom Boy. feel like he's Mushroom Boy to my, I don't know, what would that make me? Like, Fungal Man? Batman and Robin? Mushroom Boy? and I don't know. I was trying to think of some sort of superhero reference there, but I'm not very good at that. I will admit to you. Get out of there, Mushroom Boy. There's explosions. Now I want him to live. I'm invested. Ow. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Get some of that health back. That's poison. Don't don't land directly in the poison. Right. Oh, my God. He's kind of amazing. Like, I kind of... I don't know if he's good, but he's amazing. And that's worth something. Why can I land in that wall? I don't understand why I'm able to land in that wall. It's making things... A little bit confusing and difficult for me, I will not lie. Mushroom boy, kill things. Go. Whoa, god, he did. What's up with this? Oh! Whoa! Secret zone discovered with a blue sapphire. Okay, okay. That was neat. I didn't realize. Mushroom boy doing work. He doesn't do a ton of damage, but actually interrupting the enemy seems really valuable for me. Like, that seems to be very helpful. Speaking of which, uh, where are the enemies? Oh, I missed. That could have gone so much worse. I got a little bit extremely lucky there. Boom, baby. Also, he hasn't died. He's been with me for... Die! So long now. No! Oh, this is... Oh, my God! Holy vey! There was just bombs everywhere. All right. Probably need to the condemned it is. Let's do a speed run. 
Let's do the first area to get the promenade of condemned. We'll try and get back to where we were quickly. Man. My my health was just evaporated, dude. There was nothing I could do, dude. And the game has punished me with the oiled sword, no less. Oh boy. The game is uh the game is angry and it is letting it be known. This cannot be denied. Excuse me, sir. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Mushroom boy! I will take the time though to get mushroom boy. Mushroom boy, come with me. Why were you just sitting down there? I don't understand. It was cool, but also why? Come with me. We must quickly find an exit. Alright. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mushroom boy is just killing things while I'm ignoring them and running away like a scared child. I kind of love it. Just gotta keep booking it here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey, I'll take that. Broadsword? Yes, that's gonna be better. Broadsword 2, 15% bonus damage. Cannot be interrupted by enemy attacks. Right, because I get the, uh... Go away. What does this thing give me again? I don't even remember. Bonus firebrands. Yes, I'll take them, but I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. It looks like I may have gone the wrong way. Still have one minute left, I think, before we'd run out of time for our uh, time door. Take a green again. I think greens are going to be extremely useful for us. There's nothing up there. Well, that was unfortunate. I feel like we could be closing in on an exit, though, or a shop. It could be closing in on a shop. You know, you know what? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme that. I don't know, dude. We're in a hurry, so. I felt like buying one of them was probably a wise idea, at least. Go. Get me out of here. Crap. Get, go, go. Excuse me. Pardon me. Time is actually getting to be a little bit dangerous now. Do not hit that door. If you curse me by hitting that door, Mushroom Boy, I will never forgive you. Jeez, are we going to make it to an exit here? I've got 30 seconds. There we go. Promenade of the Condemned. The best exit we could have found, too. All right, so we're going to be able to hit a time door. Hopefully, this will be uh, worthwhile for our, our speedy maneuvers there. 20 cells. Can't complain about that. The Multiple Nox Bow 4. Ruby Amulet. Or a powerful grenade 4 plus. Oh boy. Multiple knocks bow. Shoots three arrows at the same time. Bonus damage to stun targets. Biters crawl from the dead. I mean, that sounds amazing. This seems kind of garbage. Powerful grenade. It's a lot of damage per hit. Mushroom boy, though, seems pretty good. I don't want to lose him. I could replace the crusher. Let's let's do that. I like the multiple knocks bow. Well, actually, let's do the bow. Let's Let's try something crazy here. We're going to replace the broadsword with the bow. So that now our bow is the main attack. And our firebrands, uh, we should have unlimited ammo. Of. We can throw those to do damage over time while we're shooting them with bows. This may be one where I want to actually get the... Well, I was going to say get the mutation where we get the increased ammo. Maybe not yet though because we do need... Uh, ooh, nice. We do need to actually have the ability to re recover health with necromancy like i still feel like that's a necessary piece of the equation here i could be wrong but i feel like it's important all right health's at full uh one other change i want to make can i drop this no i can't i was gonna i was gonna see if i could adjust it so that the arrows and the firebrands had switched positions on my hot bar i'm not able to do that unfortunately It doesn't, ha it's weird, when I look at it, it doesn't have actual normal ammo. It appears it's ammo is based on a, uh, nice. It's ammo is based on a meter? I don't know how that works exactly, it's kind of interesting. Oh, don't think I didn't see that, sir. I extremely saw that at the last second and barely survived it. But saw it nonetheless. There we go. Whoops. Now we just shoot them. Okay, this could actually be a pretty good setup here. Maybe ranged attacks are stronger than I even realized. Look at that. And also spawns biters when it gets the kills, which is very helpful. Makes me happy. Only that dude was a little annoying, but... Also, I should have been spawning Mushroom Boy this entire time. 
that was my bad. Thank you. Killed him. Saved my life. Wow. I didn't even need to shoot him. I was I was shooting him. I didn't need to. That was quite impressive. Um, let's go down. See what's down here. Mushroom Boy's fast too. He's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool little dude. He's got a dirty bed. Abandoned ages ago. Oh, actually, a family of rats seems to call a place home these days. I do remember him saying that before. We have a hidden hole here. A secret zone has been discovered. I mean, it wasn't particularly secret. Ah, uh, seems to be where the mushroomologist stashed profits from his little business. We found this secret area before. Lightning Bolt 2 Plus. Do I want that instead of Firebrands? Oh boy. Um, bonus damage to burning targets. I don't have any ability to create burning targets. It would be instead of the Firebrands. The damage is good, but this is colorless. Bonus damage when I'm at max HP. Let, let's let's go ahead and do the electricity. I think I think the electricity will be more useful overall than the, the firebrands, just because the damage output is so much higher. Hopefully, we don't regret this choice. I feel pretty confident in it, though. I feel like it's not too bad. Let's see what's over here. A very long hallway is what's over here. A little bit of platforming is what's over here. Open. No, I don't want to. Actually, I could see if that can be opened now that I have one stem cell. Four required. Well, not even remotely close. But, you know, how would you know unless you try? Arrow the door. Like a normal person opens doors. I've got a teleporter. There's got to be more down here of interest, though. Ah, a shop. Okay. Death orb, crossbow man. No, no, no. I like what. Well, death orb is probably better than mushroom. And then our crusher. Let's go ahead and get that yes i will take the well ugh. 99 damage to 248 dps 12 seconds 50 percent damage bonus let's take it i think it will be worthwhile for us to be able to uh death orb dudes while we're electrocuting them that probably would be some pretty decent damage output and that's something we need right now i think i forgot to recycle the death brand or the fire brands as well but i'm not gonna worry about that for now for now let's just go this way nice well wow, those arrows get some serious drop off there once they travel a little ways don't they electricity is definitely gonna be our friend here what the heck was hitting them? Were those biters biting their ankles and somehow like doing tons of crits it kind of looked like it huh um oh no that's a wait a minute is he even giving anybody a shield he's not so I don't really need to go deal with him because I could platform all the way back to him obviously I don't really want to do that though oh that was scary that's fine calm down calm Good. all right um this is going better now I'm feeling a little bit more confident Let's see what's down here I see a gardener's rose over there Ah, fire grenade. Um, I'm going to keep what I got for now. Thank you, though. It looks like we're close to that rose, too. Maybe there's another... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of the gardener's keys. Nice. That's one. We need at least two to be able to access the area that will give us something new. So let's keep a very close eye out for where we may have areas where I can get more keys. Three, I think, is the amount necessary to get all the stuff in it that it's, that it's hiding. But I'm very excited to see... Uh, what those blueprints are hey here we go one we're able to actually go through because of our boss stem cells hello sir oh i don't want any of your stuff well i mean we got in here though we finally found out that these doors will have a symbol above them glowing if they are open it appears and then on the inside are boons and bonuses for us and we cannot go that way because again we cannot double jump sufficiently in order to make that happen that's fine we don't want every secret unlocked immediately anyway that being said, another gardener's key would make me a very happy boy. Lightning doing very much work for us. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Alright, our damage output against guys that are very fast. Definitely a problem because both of our weapons require us to be quite stationary in order to use them. Probably not perfect in terms of... Um, what we have going on but not 
unusable at least. Closer. Does this lead somewhere? Uh, no, it does not look like it does. Very well. We shall proceed on. My biters have died of old age. Always a sad day. What's down here? Whee! There we go. I was about to say, that thing better die, man. No, I didn't mean to kill him. I meant to use the other one. Whoops. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll have to get Mushroom Boy back here. Oh, Mushroom Boy is back. Never mind. I didn't kill him. Wow. An enemy dropped a scroll of power. That's really, really good. Let's get the HP and we need max HP at this point now. We can start working on that. Shoot him. Shoot him. Nice. This is definitely a different way to play. Using two ranged weapons as our main form of attack. I like it. It's different. It allows for um, combat to have a bit of a different feeling to it. Okay, we need to take this out like immediately. This is not good. This is not good. I think I think our mushroom boy may have saved us basically. Oh, whoopsie, I found a secret. Never mind, I've left the secret. We're back in the secret. I got the thing. Now we can leave the secret. Well, that was just me panic rolling. And it worked out fabulously. And honestly, our health isn't in that bad of a place. Rare blueprint acquired. Neon outfit. It does look pretty cool, but you're going to have a hard time getting me to uh, give up my purple outfit, to be honest. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying you have to make a pretty good argument for it. Oh, God. I don't like this. Whoop! Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, the heal is real. Kill him. This place is scary. This area down here is providing some, uh, substantial challenge, shall we say. Shoot it. Thank you. Another shielded boy. De-shieldified. And then we zippity-zoop these guys. Good stuff. Alright. I hope there's a good reward over here. Oh, and now platforming. The reward is you get to go to a place that you really don't want to go to. Whee! Hooray! Is there at least a warp point to get out of here? There is. Good. I am not going to the morass of the bandits right now. That would be just asking to get uh, my butt handed to me in a, uh, in a bag that allows the sieving of cheeses through it. I do not want. I've only got one key at the moment. This is not going to be very usable. There's no point in even using it at this point. Maybe I can carry it on and use it in a later area. Oh my god. And like that, our health has evaporated. Wonderful. That is remarkable how quickly that can happen, man. You think you're doing fine one moment, and then it turns out you are actually extremely not doing fine. Oh, he tried to get behind me, man. And he almost succeeded, too. He would have gotten away for it if it weren't for those meddling kids. Um, down here. This is helping us get some health back, at least. Because these kills are each giving us at least a few HP. Every little bit of HP is incredibly important when enemies do so much damage so quickly. Shoot him. What is this? Just... Oh, the statue of the king, right? And then he comments on it, like, "How do you see I don't know." Come on, man. Come on. What is up? Well, I guess we go down next, though. We've got a broadsword too and a crusher too. I like my two items too much to do that. Oh boy, this is scary. Take it. I think we grab a purple here. Help our electricity up. Help our max HP up, which of course will then help with our uh, overall HP recovery per kill which is very important ooh Vorpan 4 plus that does appeal to me I kinda like our setup how we have it though what's the level of my bow my bow is 4 I think we call that for now I think I don't think I want those things I kinda like my my place where I'm at 
Like the lightning plus bow combo is different, and I kind of like doing something a little bit different like that. It's, it's being interesting. I will recycle this, however, since I'm not using it. Got him. We need to find the guy providing shields immediately. Where is he? Who is providing the shield to you? This guy. What the heck, man? He like, jumped over me. That was amazing. Yeah, kill those dudes as quickly as possible, always. They are very scary. Alright. Is there anything in here? No. Uh, this is going okay. Health is not perfect, that's for sure, but overall... We don't have the ability to get up there. What was up there? Is that money? Well, doesn't really matter, I suppose. Unless we can get it from back here. Oh, we can. Ho, ho, ho. Secret zone discovered, baby. Ah, yeah. Good stuff. What's over here? Oh, this is the one that would lead to the place where I have to do the multi-jump. And I can't really get there. Although it does have a... Hold on. It has a mummy rub area. Let me check that. So I can't get this one. Where does it go to, though? Oh, the ossuary. That's the more difficult version of this place, I think. Let's go ahead and head to the ramparts instead. I think the ramparts probably will do us a little bit less dirty. Hopefully not uh, destroy us as much. That's the hope, at least. We shall see. A forge that runs on cinnamons. Yeah, we're not even... Well, we weren't terribly far away from getting that, to be honest. Neon outfit. Stealth is for losers. <laughs> uh, we were working on our blowgun. We can finish that off, actually. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll replace the um, the multiple Nox bow with that. And let's start putting some points into the next health flask. 99. But, whoa, crit does 591. All I have to do is hit him from behind, huh? I think we'll take that over the multiple Nox bow. That sounds amazing. Yes. Although the multiple knocks bow, look at just the base DPS of that thing. 505? That's doing almost as much damage with a single shot as this does with a crit. I kind of want to try the new one, but I don't know. That seems pretty good. That's a tough call. Um, Instead of lightning bolt? Just massive amounts of firing out. No, that doesn't seem good. That would be massive amounts of firing out like projectiles we're gonna hold back on the blowgun for now just because this multiple knocked bow seems like really really strong um what else are we gonna need here we don't need the ammo increase actually oh boy um i guess we go for combo the dps after killing an enemy is probably really good decreases skill cooldowns for each enemy killed without using melee attacks I mean, uh, do I really need to hurry up my skill cooldown? I don't know if I do. I'm going to go with combo. I think the bonus damage could be really useful. Oh, there's an actual full heal here. Well, this is amazing. That makes me feel a lot better. Good stuff. Next stop. Next stop, the ramparts. There we are. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, consider clicking the, uh, clicking the like button. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you've not done so already, and uh, I'll be back on tomorrow as we continue on actually making some forward progress on uh, the difficulty plus one mode. So that should be fun. Thanks for hanging out, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.